Okay, okay, I'm sitting up. I'm sitting up taller. I'm sitting up. <laughs> Posture check. muted yeah I, I was just moving some things around as well so that's ugh, we're getting there we're getting there um hello i know i don't usually stream on tuesdays but i thought it could be kind of cool to do a little sneaky stream since i've got all this really cool fun stuff that i want to show off uh but i've also got the discord open as well there's a chat how can you still come here oh yeah okay good okay now you can hear me yeah 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 yeah, yeah, I know what I did wrong, but I got it now. Uh, I'm also in the Twitch and I'll be taking maybe, we I don't know, I'm seeing how this goes, but possibly suggestions over in Twitch subs on the Discord. Uh, you guys can hear me? No? I'll wait. I'll wait. Got all night. Hello, everybody. Hydrate. Thank you for that one, Big Spoon 223. Uh, Tate the Aussies saying, G'day. Yeah, born to be in this one, aren't you? This is going to be fun. Um, I haven't had dinner tonight. It's 7.50 in Pacific time because I thought – I've already had three Tim Tams. I just thought I should say that. But I thought I would do a just chatting. <gasps> Spin pop. Thank you for the sub. I'm getting new ones of these, by the way. I'm hopefully getting a new um, sub image. We're working on a new layout as well. Um, trying to spice it up a little bit because as we know, my CPU can sometimes really cark it in some of the gameplay. So I'm trying it. Uh, yes, hello. We'll be demonstrating the time-honored Tim Tam Slam. Hello, Bogload. You know it's an Aussie if their name is Bogload. 
Um, I think, that, yes, yeah, I am. I'm going to show off all the food that I have. I'm gonna be trying it and then who knows, maybe we can experiment, but. Whoa, Spin Pop gifting some subs as well. Look at these lucky people. Asulpas and True Scorn, Ken, Can Canada Monkey Man, <laughs> Osiris Man Poor, and Rodriguez Jeremy, lucky things. You've all got subs now to Geek Bomb's channel. So you can, our oh, Team Oz here. What's up, represent? Uh, you can check out some of the emotes that are happening here. Uh, also, <laughs> We got new emotes and apparently there's this new thing on Twitch where, oh, thank you, Crucible. Ah, oh, you are great. Mad Mordigan. Thanks, Crucible. Uh, we have new emotes. I think you can buy them if you accrue a certain amount of channel points. Why do I have headphones on? No one's, <laughs> no one's talking. Oh, unless, oh, that's an idea. Gory. Gory, can you meet me in um can you meet me in Geek Bomb staff, please? Gory? I'm throwing you onto the bus as my fellow Aussie. Since you got this, I'm bringing you in. Oh man, of course they're saying that redskin's a bad word. Gory! Oi! Don't make me slack you. And Gory. Jump in staff call because what i'll do is we'll have a phone call so gory can chat me through all of this stuff as well whenever she gets in whenever yes there you are get in get in the staff chat on discord if you want to i'm just telling you to do it that's all good um all righty let's go through so we have new uh bits uh, can you see that it says bitte and then pate? So we have bitte pate emotes so that when we have a bitte pate or nearly get a bitte pate, we now have emotes for it. And pate also is good for pate pita, which we all love on this channel. Uh, starting the night strong, says Nath. Ooh, ooh, ooh. With my, um, you know, tech issues. Thanks for looking at my tweet earlier. Glad you liked my dice, says Catch22. There she is. It's me. It's -a me, a Gori. It's me. Welcome. You're in the stream. So, Gori, do you want to Hi. tell the story of um, how this all happened? Sure. Um, so, Maud and I have been chatting a lot lately, and she was getting a little bit homesick, maybe because you've been talking more to, to some Aussies. And I thought, what better way to make you a little bit less homesick than by sending out some fun little Aussie items that would... Um, kind of warm your heart a little bit. <sighs> Thank you. And they have and they are. And I love that I'm going to do this when not only Bitte Pate are um, live, <laughs> but also this new emote, chocolate. Chocolate. We now have chocolate as an emote. So anytime I feel like chocolate uh, and I'm making it sort of like, I'm, I still have to shuffle some things around, but I'm trying to make the emotes sort of like, work as a channel point spend as well so if it's chocolate o'clock yeah. if i need to get some chocolate people can start posting chocolate if we're going to start a bitte pate or we're going to have a bitte pate we can use the emotes for bitte and pate um and i also changed around the d20 to be for tier three in the subs because i always have a d20 on standby so i figure we could do some a little something called roll for it so if I'm like thirsty and need another drink, roll for it. If I, you know, some fun things that we can, we can roll for it. So we'll have the dice for that. Do I have the die? No, for some reason I'm only seeing Maud Squad, Bitte Pate, the new Among Us one as well. Ooh. So I don't know what's going on. Where are the rest of my emotes? <laughs> Maybe they're getting approved because I shuffled them around so much. Anyway, oh, I like this one. Who did that one? It looks like Queen Me. Uh, I'm going through the chat now. I don't know why I don't have the chat up here. Let's do something about that. Uh, Beatum has been t teaching me some stream things and he's like, don't live edit. Do this thing. So I'm doing this thing right now. Where's chat? Chat box. Add source. Add source. 
chat box. Let's pop it here. Boop, boop. I can even move a little bit more this way so we've got chat box room. Look at this, ready? Now chat, go. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Hum, hum, hum. Ah, I'm eating everything on this. Sorry, Gory, what were you up to today? Oh, that's not. Uh, no, just writing some articles, working on some Geek Bomb fun. What's been happening? Geekbomb.net. What are some of the things? Um, we've been working on a lot of quizzes lately because everyone seems to enjoy the quizzes. Um, so I, there should be a quiz going up soon. That's on um, which is your geek car. Um, and I specifically made sure I knew all the answers so I would get the Batmobile. Um, but there's a few choices in there that Ooh. hopefully some of the Geek Bomb community will like to get and share all over all over social for us. Okay. There yeah. you go. I, I also ate a lot of sushi at lunch, so I'm quite full. Oh, wait, yeah, I know. I haven't eaten, so this is happening. Nath asking, Good. Um, invest in Maud coin. This channel is going to the moon. That's right, <laughs> Diabetic yeah. Orphan. That is right. Let's look back yeah. at some. Oh, Diabetic Orphan just dropping it. Getting this Maud coin. Bitte oh. pate. This is like, this is, I mean, I mean, this is kind of bitte pate. Well, that's just pate mode. You have to push bitte pate. and then pate. Yeah, this is kind of bitte pate because we're getting subs. Bitte pate. Yes. Yeah, cool. Bitte, bitte pate. pate. Oh, it's time to pate <laughs> with some bitte. Uh, for those that don't know, Rach is a community manager over Geek Bomb and then some. You'll find her writing articles yes. all over geekbomb.net. She's uh, the one who chats with you over in Patreon and Discord. If you're not involved in the Discord, I can do it. Why not? Discord. Go do it. Ah, oh, Maud, you're not even, you're, it's not even, oh, you can't even spell it. This is embarrassing. People are watching. Discord C. Discord C. Adam's got you. Thanks, Adam. That's why you're the A-dum. It's all about the <laughs> aperture. We're in the pipe five by five. I don't understand any of that. Um, Nath, my CPU at the moment is like 7.5. So we are mwah, good. This is whatever this is, this is good. So I'll never play video games again. I will only do these, which is <laughs> okay. That's life now. Uh, I just want to move a couple of things around as well. Will it let me? Probs not. No, it won't. Cool. I want to move my chat to where that is. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's okay. Layout editor. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. What a nice. You guys can't see what I'm doing, but no. No. Yeah. I can't get out of it. I can't get out of it now. Oh no. What have you done? Maud, we spoke about this. Adam's going to be so upset. I know. He's trying to teach the Padawan <laughs> and I refuse to learn. Um, oh, crap. Save changes? Ooh. Hey, Terry's here. Oh, hello. Get back, chat. Get back, chat. Hi, Terry. Oh, Nathan gifted some subs. Wait, quick. Bitte pate in the chat. Bitte pate. You just gifted a sub to Pianki Boglode. GNU user, <laughs> Rust Lek, Harig, Snoo, oh. Sus, <laughs> Zemdos, Fractal Eye, and Yumelanin Knight. Wow. And then to Baddest Page as well. Not the best, just the baddest. Just um, the baddest. Mm -hmm. What did you miss when you were in class? I love that you're going to school. The Snoo is sus. That's exactly right. Um, I feel like I've missed a bunch of chats that were happening. Sub geek bombs. I missed felt discord. That was cool. Um, uh, what a nice surprise. Hi, Ashalon. Night, lovely surprise indeed. Um, yeah. Okay. That feels about good. That feels about good. I feel, I feel good about this. Uh, okay. want to keep the good moods going. So let's start with some of the, uh, items. Gory, really quickly, do you have a favourite? Of what I sent you? No, in general. Um, uh, odds, yeah, I'd say um, the Double Choc Tim Tams, which they didn't have the store I bought those from, but Double Choc Tim Tams are the go-to, especially when you're doing a Tim Tam Slam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But also Caramello Koalas, I feel like staple Aussie treat. Oh, you mean these? 
Yeah. They call me Caramello. Koala. <laughs> So, so good. we have Freddo frogs and Caramello koalas. Don't even bother about the okay. Freddo frogs unless they're different types of chocolate, like white chocolate Freddo frogs. But all usually, Freddo frogs are just like the shape of chocolate, but it's just plain chocolate. Oh my gosh, where are all the chocolate emotes? I'm saying chocolate so much. Hello, thank you for the follow, Edith Puthi. Mm -hmm, that's a fun one to say. Chocolate. Um, <laughs> so yeah, skip over the Freddo frogs ones. But um, the Caramello koalas have caramel in the chocolate so oh. let's bust open oh. one of these bad boys uh i'm not a double coat double chocolate tim tam by the way really no nah. this is a caramel koala i have to do like the, the thing you know the thing where you put your hand um <laughs> i used to eat an entire packet of tim tams an entire one after every hockey match when i used to play hockey in high school I feel like thing. that's fine, though. The last one or two were a little bit tough, but I slogged through it. Alrighty. Yeah. you got to commit. So this is your caramel. Look how happy he is. He's about to get eaten. He's about to get eaten. Don't do it. I'm so happy. Okay, Moran. Eat me. Um, okay. Mm. A bit of dead off. It's got caramel in there. You see that? Oh, so yum. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Zelda. Oh, like Kit Kats. Zelda, mm -hmm. I love you, but you can fuck right off when it comes to this food. <laughs> this is mummy's food. Mm. Mm. Can you hear her? She's like, ah. yeah. that's enough. Okay. I need milk on standby. This is all of chocolate. Mm. Okay. Mm. We're just getting a little bit of Hamari. Is a little ASMR, yes. Mm. Aussie ASMR. Chocolate. <laughs> this tastes a little different than the other ones. Maybe they've changed the ingredient. Not really. Mm. I know my caramellos. Zelda. Quit it. Chunky little piglet, that dog. Hello, Mikey Likes. You actually have a phobia of food sounds? Adam, I'm the same. I think we had a conversation about this. Remember when my brother would eat cereal and he would moan and groan into the spoon while chewing? That's not okay. That's not okay. <laughs> it's not okay. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Sorry, Adam. This is going to be awful for you, but I'm still going. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Adam mm. is stuck. You cannot leave. Oh, someone, someone redeemed Guide the Raid. Who redeemed it? Uh, I think it was Mikey. Mikey, you're going to have to help me out with the raid in the end of it. Just, just a bit. I'm sorry. I mean, I could turn it. Mm. <laughs> Is it bad that when people, like, the fact that they don't like that noise would make me want to get closer to the mic and chew? Apparently, it's only okay if you're not opening your mouth. Right. Britta Pate. Britta Pate. Britta Pate. Hi, Jablink. I was like saying, that looks really good. Britta Pate. Mm. So one down. One, two, three, four, five, six to go. Oh. Mm. That's just nice. Oh, I love this. Allergen statement. May contain traces of wheat, something, and tree nuts. Hmm. It's made in Victoria. Great. There's, there's another uh, warehouse in New Zealand. It's made in Australia from imported and local ingredients. Please store in cool, dry conditions. Hmm. He's got no pants on. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's so happy. Like, that is legit Australian. No pants. Don't want to wear them? Don't do it. No pants. Don't do it. Too hot for pants. Have you ever seen a koala that's brown? No. Get back. I have not. That's because they're not, right? <laughs> Unless they're very dirty. Is it a dirty koala? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, Bo XC127 has subscribed for their fifth month they say hello Maud. your hair looks really good today also aussie snacks Woo Bo, are you aussie 
I don't know why my hair looks good today. I didn't do anything. I don't really know. Um, True Scorn, did you redeem suggest a poll? What would you like the poll to be? Escape Artist, thank you so much for... Mm -mm. Escape Artist, thank you so much for the follow. Hello. Hi, Baba. Alrighty. What... So, hold on. I'm... My favourite... My favourite thing. I'm sure someone in the chat knows my absolute favourite chocolate in Australia. Thank you, Kelly from Vancouver. I wonder if you've got some of the similar chocolates than we have here. Jimmy redeemed the poll. Sprinkles. Oh, yeah. it's sprinkles. Sorry. I don't know if it's above or below, but it's below. Your poll is what's your favorite snack? What can the options be? Rach, are you on this? Adam, are you on yeah. this? Yeah. What are the options? I think we only get two. Bogload says fairy bread. I one really likes fairy bread. It's just hundreds and thousands on a piece of buttered bread. <laughs> She, Adam, can you make that poll? It's glitching out for me. Oh, what's your favourite snack? What's your favourite snack? Beatum is saying, I'm upset I'm missing all these snacks. <laughs> so I just so want everyone to know, and I'm glad this is being recorded, that the real snack... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is me. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> oh, you live in Vancouver, Washington. <laughs> Not Canada. Oh, that got me. You got me. There's more than one Vancouver. Um, picnic bars. Yes, Nathan. I knew you would get it. Picnic bars are my favorite chocolate. They are so yummy. Picnic bars are a wafer, delicious, um, like a thin one wrapped in caramel oh my god and then surrounded by roasted peanuts oh can this get better yeah and then it's got chocolate around it chocolate emu chocolate i said it chocolate i'll say it twice what motion are we seconding the options are green tea kit kats tim tams peanut butter cups and starburst adam if you got that there are our options for the poll I like that. Jimmy starting a little game, a little poll happening here. I didn't know that like out of all the top four snacks that green tea Kit Kats would be up there. I've had them. They taste like dirt. <laughs> but like kind of nice dirt. Um, what one, what do you think we should do next, Rachel? I have Vegemite, Milo, Pasito, Shapes and Tim Tams and Dream Chocolate, which I totally already stuck into. Cadbury Dream Chocolate is the best white chocolate. It's so good. I had it for lunch. So <laughs> yeah. You're having that you had that for lunch and you're having the rest of the snacks for dinner. Yes, I have never said that I'm a responsible adult. Good. Yeah. No, I'm here for it. Yeah. You sent um, me sh you sent me snackies, I will eat the snackies. <laughs> I know. You weren't checking your P.O. box forever and I had to tell you there was chocolate in it for me and to then get, you get it that day. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> That's the trick. Um, if anyone wants to send more chocolate to your P.O. box, the P.O. box is listed uh, on the Patreon. Can someone there and also become a patron? Can someone give me a hydrate nod in there? I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me with that hydrate. Where'd my dog go? I think she's mad at me. Yeah. Boom. Thanks, Bugload. Oh, yum. Thank you. Can you hear that as well? That's a lot of water. <laughs> Can you hear that? No. You didn't hear me glug, 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 glugging? I didn't. Leander said, said, do you mix Milo with water or milk? Oh, what, what? What, what? Not water. Who, not water, you no. Heathen. No, not water. Yuck, yuck. Boglo says curly whirly. I, I want to hear... Um, the, co the poll, the current poll, I said the coal. The current poll is up. Green tea, Kit Kats, Tim Tams, peanut butter cups or Starburst. I'm going to vote Tim Tams, but cast your vote right now. At the moment, peanut butter cups are winning, but it's neck and neck with Starburst. Green tea, Kit Kat, not one person has voted for them. And if you did, I will find you because I have a particular set of skills. I will find you. Wow, Starburst 20. That just went ballistic just then 
Um, can all the Aussies in the chat please identify yourself? Where are my Aussies at? Thank you so much for the 100 bits, by the way, to blink. Let's chuck a little bit of a bit of there. A bit of Oh, there we go. Where are my Aussies at? Of course, Bogload is an Aussie. I asked Bogload if Bogload was for uh, toilet time, and apparently not at all, which I very, oh. I still, I'm not convinced. Hmm. Yeah. If I Curious. said Bogload, what would you think? Um, what, what is an American saying? Taking the kids to the pool? I would think super turd. Yeah, like a big old... Bogload. Bogload. <laughs> but, but Bogload, can you remind me what it really is? Because I'm not convinced. All right, Tate the Aussie is from Adelaide, South Australia. Bogload got my super turd reference with super Ted. Eric is banana man. <laughs> uh, mm. Only three people will get that. Um, arises from Morwell? What? What? Uh, Tilby, Tilbs is uh, uh, definitely Aussie. Where are my other Aussies? Is that it? For my Aussies, and Bogload has already answered this with Curly Whirly, but what is your favourite Aussie snack? Bog is God, he was in, God Slavic. in Slavic. Yeah. Huh. But like, mm. you know, dog is God backwards, but I'm not here worshipping my dog. Wait a second. Oh my God. <laughs> dog. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, my dog. Where are you, Zell? You sooky lala. She's curled up She's on sad because yeah. you're eating all the choco. I'm eating all the chocolate. Um, Cadbury Boost? No, too much chocolate. Needs more nut. Needs more white chocolate. <laughs> Camarilla koalas are on point. Yes. Says the diabetic orphan. <laughs> <laughs> That's too good. Um, Gippsland, Victoria. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Tate, the Aussie says Farmer Union iced coffee with some dark chocolate Tim Tams. Oh, Bogload says Wagon Wheels. Wagon Wheels. Wagon Wheels. It. Say Wagonville. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. It say Wagonville. Oh my god. Lamalura, thank you so much for the follow. I am going. I'm making my way downtown, eating snacks. That's as far as I got there. Do, 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 do. What rings oh, are snacks? Take the only coming through with chicken crispies. Oh. Yes. Yum. Oh. Paddle pops. Paddle, rainbow paddle pop. I would shank a man for a rainbow paddle pop. Someone told me that rainbow paddle pops is secretly just caramel flavored. It is done. I love it. I love caramel. Uh, oh. Cherry ripe says Bogload. So good. They're all right. I never. They weren't in my top three. They weren't in my top five. I said it. But now they're Ooh, okay. Maybe what it's is your top five then? Picnic bars, chomps. Mhm. Mhm. Chomp is good. Chomp's great. I got really addicted to yeah. those. I put on a, ch a chunky amount um, after high school when I realized I could eat as many chomps as I wanted. <laughs> mm -hmm. Golden Gay Time. Yes. So oh. good. So good. Oh, it's got to be a rainbow paddle pop. Actually, that's probably my yeah. number one. Oh, I just, oh, my God. Can we get on to the next one? I'm like salivating. Oh, yes, 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 yes. What are we doing? What are you feeling? More chocolate? I could do more chocolate. Try, show the um, Cadbury Dream. I've also had a oh, Buffalo Bill. I've also had oh. um, three Tim Tams already. <laughs> but you've got to do a Tim Tam Slam, right? Yes, I will be. I've got the milk. Yes. I'll have the milk for the Tim Tam Slam and the Milo. Perfect. I am not going to be putting anything, uh, the Vegemite on anything. That's an interesting choice. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, so do we do Tim Tam or Dream then? Dream. Uh, what does everyone else say? So. <laughs> How much have you eaten of the Dream? <laughs> <laughs> um, three, three rows. <laughs> yes, more. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. It's probably my favorite. All right, so here's a row. 
it's just so we get it it's the best white chocolate it's so good like it literally is a dream this is the packaging what does it say smooth and creamy white chocolate dream white chocolate Sorry. Gently open to reveal your delicious, smooth, and creamy Cadbury Dream White Chocolate. I'll get paid to do that shit. <laughs> you know I got a voiceover job today? For Cadbury? No. Because that would be good. Wouldn't it? No. But like, don't pay me. Send me yeah. <laughs> Send chocolate. Me chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I want to eat all the chocolate. Um, I auditioned for it. Got it. Did it. And got paid all in like 90 minutes. What a trip. Damn. What a trip. Voiceovers is where it's at. Yeah. Can you hear that? Because it's sticking to the roof of my mouth and I have to. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And I have to. Mm. Mm. Um, one down, three to go. Fuck, this is good. It's so yummy. I've got to stop swearing. What happened to the swear jar? <laughs> yeah, we need the swear jar. We need a swear jar. Yeah, but that but the You're saying Nathan's saying yay, I've been making a little bit of money <laughs> in lockdown. <laughs> yay. Geek Bum, have you ever had a coffee crisp? Tell me more. Coffee crisp. Tell me more. A swear square. What do you mean by that? Like it pops up like Don't. Naughty word. Can't say that. Does anyone get it when I say it like that? Never apologize for your Australianisms. Do you get what I mean when I say I can't say that? I you can't say that? I can't say that. Yeah. I can't and I I'm won't. Glad you can't. Yeah. I can't and I won't say that word. <laughs> we would need a swear barrel. Yeah. Mm. Nathan's where it's at right now. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, the, the, it's just so good. I think out of all of them, hands down, hand, hand down. Ah, oh, Nathan, I can't approve that. I can't approve that, but I know what you're saying, <laughs> but I can't approve it. <laughs> you know that I think I told you guys this. If you know me from SourceFed, which is an online digital network where I was hosting nerdy videos often, I would try to fit that word in like that as many times as I could in videos. And no one had any idea. I had like a cunt count. <laughs> but I mean, like, <laughs> it's just the accent. And it's just like my little way of like, ha, <laughs> mm. Anyway. You're not allowed to swear, but you still can. Or can't you? I can't. Hmm. A coffee crisp is a chocolate bar made with alternating layers of vanilla wafer and fo and a foam flavored co whoa a foam coffee flavored soft candy covered with a milk chocolate outer layer. Um, Gory Kills, can you please send me a picture of that in the Discord immediately? Yes. I actually might fucks around with some stuff so that I can f u x not a swear word. Um, so I can pull up maybe a window where I could show this. Maybe. I'm still clearing out my mouth. Ooh. Mm. I mean, this one maybe? Oh, no, that's the one. That's the picture you need. Are you popping it in Twitch sub? Let's pop it in Twitch sub. Yeah, I will. Where do you want it? Twitch sub, please. Doing it. Twitch, Twitch sub, sub. So if you're a sub, if you're a sub, you can check it out. Twitch sub. I want to see our picture. Oh, I have had these. I have had these. Okay, hold on. I need to do some. I need to do some interesting things. Window capture. Add source. Window capture. Add source. A window capture. Add source. A window capture. Add source. Hmm. Wait. I need to do this first. Oh no! It's too late, isn't it? <laughs> Well, that's the Discord, everyone. <laughs> the one thing he tried to teach me, I'm still not doing. Uh, what happened to my... Oh, I deleted it. A window capture. Add source. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I 
getting better at it, but like not, but kind of. No, whatever that was, sorry. I take it all back, I am not good. I take it all back. What? I don't know if this will work, but there's one way to find out. So all we have to do is just post pictures he he here. All right, ready? Okay, there it is. <laughs> Are we seeing it now? Are you in there? Are you, Are you muted? I muted myself. Can you see it now? No. I don't, where have you posted it? <laughs> It's, it's in the, it's in the corner here. Wait, maybe I've, maybe I've just got a little delay. It's here. Yeah, yeah, there it is. It's here. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Yay. So I'll, I will be posting snicks here and chats snicks. here. <laughs> snicks. Mm, it's time for one more of these, by the way. Mm, mm, mm. One one piece or one row? Just one piece. Um, I've had one of these. Bitch, about that. <laughs> Love mod streaming progression. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Mm, 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 mm. Every time someone sends bits, I write bitch about in the group chat. Bitch about that. So I can go oh bitte pate or something. Mm. What um what should be next? I feel like maybe something savory. So maybe the um I know they're not your preferred flavour, but maybe the barbecue shapes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. I need hydrate. <clears throat> yeah. I need for sure need hydrate for this. I need hydrate. I need hydrate. Ma! Meat loaf! Meat loaf! I need hydrate. I need okay. hydrate. What is this? If I had the power of Mijan Boo, would I turn anyone? Oh, from Dragon Ball Z. When it was Fat Boo? <laughs> well, I can't. No, I is, that, is that PC correct? Probably not. When he was Baby Boo, uh, Chunky Boo. Oh. You know, he goes chunky and then he goes ripped. He's like, ah! Yes. And then he's like, oh! <laughs> yeah. <I swear. laughs> um, I'm not sure if I would turn someone into a snack and eat them because I thick, yeah, a thick boo. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure I would turn anyone into um, c candy because I have a phobia of being eaten. So I wouldn't want to eat someone. Interesting. Yeah. Cuddly Boo? I prefer him when he's Big Boo. Big Boo. Uh, shapes. Alrighty. Pizza shapes. This is what's up. Arnott's shapes. So these are kind of like a cracker, uh, um, kind of like a snack, a snacky chip, but it's baked and not fried. That's like their big thing. Baked, not fried. And so it's like, yes. it's like yummy. Well, how would you describe it, Rach? Cracker itself is very plain, but it's all about the seasoning. Seasoned crackers. Like a really thin seasoned cracker, yeah. All right, it says lift to open. So there's a few flavors of this one, and it's quite undisputed that the best flavor is pizza shapes. Uh, Hands no, down. no pizza went anywhere near that shape, but the flavor is no. pizza <laughs> shapes, and they are hangover cure. Divine. <laughs> This one's supposed to be barbecue. Again, you'd think like what a standard barbecue flavor is. It's not this. I don't know. No, it's not smoky at all. They're smaller, aren't they? Yeah, they're getting small. They used to be big and really hexagonal. This is like yes, not Tiny. what it was. But see how it's like a baked cracker, but it's got all this good seasoning on it. Oh, they're still good. Um, that's my childhood right there. 
That's good. Yeah. So it's kind of, are they healthier than chips, would you say? Chippies? I feel like that's what they market them as, right? It's like baked, not fried. It makes you feel better about eating it. Better, bitty? A bit better. Better, bitty. Bitty better. Um, they're trying to tell me that the servings per package in here is seven. <laughs> uh, nope. What's the uh, what's the servings um, on the dream though? I don't know. I want to know. <laughs> Four squares. Oh. What are they? Do they not understand how people eat? No. I'm not going to take not. four squares of this. Apparently, there's seven and point stop. seven point two servings. Yeah, right. <laughs> two max. Yeah, max. <laughs> mm. uh, calories. Mm -mm -mm. This is how they get you. They say the serving size is really, really small, and then they say, "Oh, here's what you get per serving." You need to get per 100 grams. Look, the fat's pretty bad. <laughs> the carbohydrates is astonishing. The sodium is quite high. Mm. Yeah, they're not good for you. Contain soy and good. gluten. I shouldn't eat gluten. Containing cereals. May contain traces of egg, milk, peanut, sesame and tree nut. Did you know, Gory, that like the word nut has changed its meaning in America? Oh. So nut or to nut or nutting is actually um, like ejaculating. How about? Uh, and there is a phrase in Australia where if you need to work on a problem until you have a solution, you, gonna nut it out. you suggest that you nut the problem out. So when I moved to America and I had an all-male team and I love to work that on been interesting. Or love to work on problems. <laughs> How'd they feel about you nothing well, at Well, they had to tell me, maybe don't say mm. that again. Maybe that's a, a phrase that you expire. Wow. Mm. Well, good to know. Mm. I missed that one. Oh, you want it, did you? Did you want it? Come on. Oh, Zell. Do you want it? Oh, my gosh. Well, she got it. She's um, a little shark, that one. Do you like it? Is that good? Oh, move it, boo. Fine. Good work. That's good. Thank you. I appreciate it. But in case you're wondering, Smoothie Free, she said thank you for the sub. I meant my bad. I'm, I'm not sure what came after it. Oh, the Zell's <laughs> coughing. Did you eat it too fast, Baba? Oh. God! Hmm. <laughs> I said, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate that. Oh, you used Prime. Yeah, clever. Or something on that likes of that. Oh, hydrate. Thank you. Mm -mm. You know what you should be hydrating with, though? <gasps> mm -hmm. <laughs> to bang it out. Yeah, but even that doesn't work, does it? To bang it out. Oh, we got to bang this out. Bang it out. <laughs> They're like, okay. <laughs> No, that's not. I just want one, a couple, a couple more of the shapes, and before we move on, what are we moving on to? Like, well, I've got a question. Is your preference Cashona or Pasito? Because these are two, yeah, two very similar. What does Pasito look like? What does Pasito look like again? Like the hold on, I'll do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Mm. You just get really crumbly, like seasoning all over your hands. Though it's just no good. It's just, it's just no good. Oh, posture reload. Posture check. Thank you. Ooh. 
puffer fat. Mm, crunchy. Hey, real talk, how awful is me chewing into a microphone going for you all? Oh, passion. I mean, I feel like it's fine. Passiona. Passion is where it's at. Yeah. Mm. Hands down. Mm, mm, mm hmm. No comment, says Adam. <laughs> My mouth's been shut. Oh, I do have wet wipes nearby. Oh, I have... I have like these like little hand wipe things so that I can wipe down my desk and my keyboard. So, good call. Yeah, catch 22, around here, bang it out is to finish a task real quick. Absolutely. But if bang means to have sex, if you go to bang it out, it sounds like a quickie. See how it's like, yeah. it's just really hard to be, you know, trying, trying to do the right thing and just be good at your job. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, you're an American. Good, good, good. Well, well then. Well, okay. Uh, all righty. Passiona. Passiona is the only soft drink that I liked. Sometimes orange Fanta. But like I really didn't drink soft drink at all when I was a kid. Which is why when I have mm -hmm. white claws, my burps get real nasty. Yeah. That could just be white claws though. I feel like I'm the same with them. It's carbonated. Anything carbonated. Hey! Dimacado87. Thank you so much for subscribing for your fifth month. Yay! Massive yay. Hammer it out. Hammer out. Hey, Nathan, maybe don't go around saying you're a Coke kid. <laughs> See? Yeah. Everything innocent is no longer. Won't somebody think of the children? Uh, you're going to get the sugar shits. Oh, me? I am? Oh, they're a thing? A sugar shit? Bogload would know. <laughs> if, if anyone knows, it's Bogload. <laughs> um... Passiona is a passion fruit flavor drink. Let me read it before I open it and then start reading it and pour it everywhere. Um, it's a passion fruit flavored drink. Does a passion fruit come anywhere in the ingredients or close to it? Carbonated oh. water, sugar, passion fruit juice. Fuck. <laughs> Excuse Hello. me. Mm, cheeky thing. Food acids, flavors, preservatives, colors. Yeah, that's it. But there's passion fruit juice in it. <gasps> Respect. All right, you ready? So good. I wish it was cold, but that's okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's just how you remember. Oh, it's been like 10 years. Perfection. Oh, Ruffin. Hi, welcome to the channel. Thanks for giving us a follow. Passion, that passiona. I was, I was, wasn't I? Oh. Uh, mm. That's the shit. How do we get that over here? I don't even like soft drinks usually. That's why, I sab that's why I'm 20, what am I getting away with now? 27, no, um, Fillings, cavities. I still yeah. have no, I still have no cal cavities or fillings. They're the same thing, but different. Good effort. Yeah. Have you got fillings? Yes. Have you? Probably from all that passiona. Did you have a lot of soft drink as a kid? Oh, for sure. I think I'm going to ban it in my house if I ever get kids. You hear that, Zelda? She's devastated. <laughs> She's devastated. Go I on. grew up in New Zealand, so we had um, LMP, and that was my go-to. Where in New Zealand? Auckland. Ah, oh, when did you come to Australia? I was there uh, when when I was about ten. So I we moved over for a year when I was one. Obviously, I don't remember any of that. And then moved to Australia when I was ten. You're so close. You're just not. <laughs> you're just not landing it. Stick your landing. Come on. I think she really likes shapes. Oh, good girl. Ow, ow, ow. 
Good girl. Are you going to get the safe shits? Hmm? She's still oh, what is this? <laughs> Angry gr You can hear them? <laughs> Bitte pate. Stream, end when <laughs> stream ends when Maud loses a finger. <laughs> well, she had half oh, it. Oh, she had okay. a half or a third of her teeth removed. So <laughs> she's We're good. a little bit better. Um, all right. Passiona was fantastic. Mm -mm -mm. But dream's still the best. Oh, the shapes were good too. Oh, okay. I've got to put them away. And velvet going to eat them. So. If you're just joining us. I've already done a caramel koala. That was so Australian. Did you hear? Caramel koala. Koala. So sing songy. I've had a row of dream white chocolate. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I would say more than one row. I've now had half a block of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I've had pizza shapes. Wait. I've had barbecue, barbecue shapes. I saw this. So these are the other flavors. Pizza. That's the barbecue I'm having. And then ch chicken crimpy. Now, here's a hot tip. You know what's good about the chicken crimpy? You get a craft single cheese. You fold it and yes. fold it again. And it makes four little squares. And you put those on the chicken crimpy. So good. So good. So good. Validaz. Thanks for the follow. Bo says, a little off topic, but more, do you ever watch the movie, movie game, uh, YouTube videos, even when you're not a guest on it? I don't really watch any YouTube videos. I don't really watch YouTube. Oh, what is, oh, it's highlight. Okay. Yeah, but I really like the concept and apparently he's like 80%. Oh, I have to eat one more. Um, if you've got a Zelda hype, oh, I don't think Zelda hype is exists right now because I've made it, I need to get it approved again because I'm shifting the order of it all. But if we get five subs or a thousand bitters, Zell can get another one of these. Or can she? But you yeah. Know. yeah. Do it. Blind Fox says, What's, What the heck's a crimpy? A chicken crimpy. Oh. How? What do, you, what do Americans call just a potato chip that has crimps like the waves in it come on it's not gonna it's not gonna it's not gonna yet but that's a chicken crimpy ruffles 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 weird zelda not gonna eat anymore is that what i'm getting no subs no bitters zelda i'm so you you're gonna have to tell her I don't want to have to tell her. Who's her fridges? Someone needs to gift five subs so Zelda can have another. Hey, Zelda. Oh, there's some bitties. There's some bitties. We're on our way to a thousand. See, what she's doing right now is looking at... I'm going to pop it. There. I think if a hype train happened while I was on stream with you, I would cry. Aww. Like, I would be way too hyped about it. Where are we at I now? I do little dances out to my desk. Three, four, five. We're halfway there. Ooh. How much to feed the whole bag to Zelda? <laughs> How much to... Who said to that? Me. Who said that? Oh, that's awesome. Sprinkles. <laughs> you on it? Oh, Sid's described. Uh, subs described. Damn it. Who am I? Sam Basher. They've subscribed for their second month or for two months. Oh, that's great. Wait, wait. Here we go. That's 700. So close, Bubba. 700 and you can... 700 and you get 300 more and you get that chip air. Eight! 800! We only need 200 more bits. We only need 200 more. You want it? The little Zelda grunts. Are you hungry? Little grunts. Do you want it? I know. No, not yet. 200 more bits, Cell. I know. 200 more bits. Oh, she's trying for it. Oh, oh, oh. She's trying for it. Zelda will probably... Jimmy, doesn't that make you want to feed Zelda more, though? <laughs> <laughs> oh! She's still trying. She's still... Oh. 
Whoa, she, whoa, Bubba. No, sorry, 100 more. 100 more and you can get it. Thank you. Uh-huh. <gasps> there it is, Bo did it. Bo crosses over the line, 1,000 bits. Ooh, <laughs> ready? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> She's just, hold on, hold on, come up here. <laughs> and we got the five subs. Oh, that's two then. Ready? <laughs> whoa. <laughs> That's one. And this one's cost a lot of subs. Thank you to Diabetic Orphan. Ready? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, no. No. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Where's the best place to do it? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. He gets the whole box, is Nathan. Are you so happy? Mm -hmm. Are you so happy? Do you love me? Do you love me? I have seasonings on my hand. Mm. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the snacks. Thank you for that. Yay, Zelda wins. She's got two. Oh, she better not be farting all night, I tell you. Alrighty. So we've done the shapes. We've done the caramella koala. We've done the pasito. It's Vegemite time. Fuck. <laughs> We all know it is Vegemite time. Okay. <sighs> wow. Why do Americans hate Vegemite so much? It's an acquired taste. I think it's because it looks like chocolate. So what you're expecting is a really sweet, delicious kind of Nutella. Mm. And what you're getting is a very savoury. It's a twang. very salty spread, isn't it? Twang. I don't know how else to describe it. Yeasty. Yeah, yeasty. Mm. I love it. All right. So Vegemite Sorry. tries to promote itself. Oh, hello. Oh, thank you. Look at that. You got a you got a gift. You had a sub. You got gifted a sub. There it is. Maud words. Words come words. eventually. Words. Vegemite promotes itself by saying it's got B vitamins in it. <laughs> so it's basically saying if you eat Vegemite. <laughs> your vitality will improve fuck man the marketing people tr people say anything so let's have a look can you come back thank you they are saying that it's you know what it's made in australia from at least 95 percent australian ingredients oh yeah good mm. um the do you remember the vegemite song we're happy little Vegemites, as bright as bright can be. Bright as bright can be. We all enjoy our yes. Vegemite for breakfast, lunch, and tea. Our mama says we're going stronger every single week because we love our Vegemite. We our all Vegemite. adore we our Vegemite. We all adore our Vegemite. It puts a rose in every cheese. Yes. Vegemite is secretly kangaroo shit with lots of salt. Yeah, all right. All right, so I'm opening it. <laughs> I know it's not, it's not, but you know, beer is yeast, so it's like breakfast beer spread. Yeah. Oh, there it is. So I hate Promite. I can't stand Marmite. Vegemite, so good. So this is what it looks like. So it looks chocolatey and creamy. It's not. It's, it's just not. If we get... Five subs, oh Zelda. Goodness. We find out if Zelda's an Australian and she tries oh. some Vegemite. So you're supposed to, the real trick with this is that you get your toast, you butter it, and you spread a thin layer of Vegemite in it. What you're not supposed yes. to do is this. <laughs> oh, no. And honestly, like, it's a lot. Like, it's, oh. it's very strong. It's very strong. <laughs> and then you throw it in the trash. And it's just the best. I love it. I love Vegemite. <laughs> so good. Mm. We got more. They gifted 10 subs. All righty. Mm. Mm. That's amazing, Bo. Thank you. Up you come. Come on. We're trying some Vegemite now, Bubba. Up. Oh. All right, let's see. So, I mean, I've realized my daughter is not 
Australian. I rescued her here already. So let's smell it first. What do you think? Okay. She likey. Ready? We just had 10 subs. Oh, can you sit up straight, dog? <laughs> Ready? There's the veggie, mate. You look interested. Are you excited? Do you love me? Do you love me? Thank you. There you go. Wow. She likes Vegemite. <laughs> Does that make her Australian at heart then? Has to. Yeah. I was like, don't do it, Zelda. <laughs> She's really liking it. Do you like it, Baba? She's a fan. You get it all? Happy Bog load, yuck. <laughs> <laughs> she a happy little Vegemite? Uh, yeah. Okay. Is it because it tastes like dog food? <laughs> oh, Bubba. Oh. Oh. It's like the taste of her own ass. <laughs> I like Vegemite. I mean, if it's it's in the morning, you know how some people are sweet? Or some people like jam and pancakes and they like sweet and then other people like eggs and bacon and they're like savory. It's just like the savory spread on toast. It makes so much sense unless you try to describe it. <sighs> people don't like it. I wonder if they've only tried it like the very the wrong, wrong way. way. Yeah. I've, I've, you know, been in relationships with men who are not Australian. And mm -hmm. basically if they wanted to date me, they will eat veggie. But they actually really like it. They liked it. Because you probably made it for them properly. Yeah, I would. I would make it. This for is them how properly. you do it. This is how you eat Vegemite. Yes. Oh, that joke's from 1994. And if you didn't have the hottest hits <laughs> so fresh or something, then you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, all right, Vegemite down. We have Tim Tams and Milo to go. <sighs> Milo, right? We gotta do Milo. Do you prefer a hot Milo or a cold Milo? Cold. Okay, and then the question is, what is your Milo to milk ratio? Embarrassing. Yes. This, it sounds like me. I have made it too milo -y before. I found a limit. There is a limit? Yeah, I found it. I found it. <laughs> it's like <laughs> scooping like 10 loaded spoonfuls of Milo into the jar and then going, Splish. <laughs> it's like, nah, it's like turn it to a paste. <laughs> Do you know how when you visit your parents, you like to pretty much eat all of their food? Yes. When we get to my parents' house, like my brother and my sister-in-law will come over and she'll be talking to us and she'll get out the Milo because she can't keep it at her house because it's not safe. And she'll just be talking casually and just scoop after scoop of Milo into a glass and yeah. then do the dash of milk. Yeah. That, it sounds about right. I'm uh, not that bad. Food2099 said, is Milo like Nesquik? Yes, but more granular is how I'll say that because yeah. it's kind of got malt in it. And Nikara says, Vegemite on toast for breakfast every morning. Nom nom. That's where it's at. Tate the Aussie says that Vegemite is good in stews too because it would give that kind of kick, wouldn't it? <gasps> I'd yeah. love to try that out. Isaac says, I love Milo. I used to have it every day as a kid. Yeah, Milo. Okay. Alrighty. So let's open it. Let's read the can. So Milo says that it's active go. It's got low GI and it's a source of protein and it has eight vitamins and minerals. Bullshit. It's a chocolate drink. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's be real. A chocolate malt drink. And the whole slogan for this, the marketing, is that you've got to be made of Milo. Made hey, of Milo. And so it says great hot or cold. And it says simply place three heaped teaspoons. <laughs> Teaspoons, teaspoons of milo into a glass add hot or uh, cold or hot not boiling skim milk and stir <gasps> they suggest to do it with skim milk so that they can say that they're not no. responsible for the fat intake huh ingredients extract of malt barley or malt barley and rice 38 percent milk solids sugar cocoa minerals emulsifier know your portions Three heaped <laughs> teaspoons and 200 mils of skim milk. 
Yeah, you can try. Mm. You can try. Oh, it's and apparently this has 23 serves in it. Alrighty, so you got a the classic Milo tin. Fucking come on. Shit for brains. That's what you do. Got it. Whee. You gotta do the Oh no. It's already Oh there it is. This reminds me of high school. So in high school, we had a senior's kitchen so that the people in the grade 12 could have like a kitchenette to heat food and ooh, it was a privilege. And they also ooh. supplied it with um, milk and Milo. And oh, I nice. was I was obnoxious with my intake of the weekly quota. It was like I had about a third of it and the rest of the grade had the rest. All righty. Yeah, I got a bit of powder everywhere. It goes, Elle, you're up. It's here. <laughs> it's on my knee. You can't see it, but it's right there. Get it. Nope, she's stupid. Cool. Um, you'll figure it out. So we're in. It's actually feel quite high. Like so many times I feel like this is only ever like that full. It's nice and humble. So you can do a dry test. Little scoop. That's what it looks like. See how it's a little bit more granular? Oh, God, i got to do the beauty thing. <laughs> I know, come on, it's got a little bit. Whatever, that's the best you're going to get. Powder drinks. Mm, that's it. So then it's like a... Uh, baby, it's right here. Up, come up, here. If you come up here, up, if you come up here, you can hide my daughter somewhere, right here. See Terry's post in the um, Twitch sub Discord. Milo and Nesquik. It's the same, just different packages. It's not the same. It's not the same. That's a nice hand. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go get a <laughs> glass of milk. I'll be back. Glory, over to you. Yes. I will continue to tell Terry that he is incorrect. I've got something on the future. Milo and Nesquik are very different. This week probably has more sugar. But yeah, actually, maybe. Try this Milo with fluff. Should I know what fluff is? This is fluff. Fluff is melted marshmallows. What? Yeah, that does. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Powder chocolate milk or syrup chocolate milk. Oh. That's probably too much milk, I realize. Milk is for quitters. I heap straight to the gob. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's Clancy, where are you from? Which city? <laughs> Alrighty. So. It's, it's the word gob that gives it away. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I'm just trying to figure out where the best placement of. There we go. So that's my laptop. Good. Let's pop this on it. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So one, two. This is how it's like very loaded. Three. And then um, four. Um, five. That's about right. Okay, so now that that's done. Focus. That's just a lot of powder. <laughs> no, that's about right. Like, as far as ratios no, I think go. That's, yeah. That's pretty good. So my I trick like is... I feel Anderson hasn't had Milo yet. Oh, I'm just dropping all the powder. So my actual trick is to not push it all and mix it. I don't like that. I okay. push a little bit down and like cereal, scoop it with some milk in it. Yes. Mm -mm, wah, wah. Push a little down. Scoop it out. And a drink.
That's great. It's really about finding the ratio and the balance for sure. Yeah. Does mm. this one taste the same? Isaac, why are you horrified? How do you do this? Mm. There's a lot of powder everywhere. But <laughs> if it, I don't know, I'm trying to say something like, if it was supposed to be good, then uh, why would they make it? All the good stuff is messy. Yeah. Mm. And all the, all the best tasting stuff is always bad for you. Mm-hmm. That's how I do it. So now the milk is still relatively milk and the Milo still all sits at the top. So it's kind of like if Milo was cereal. Mm. Mm. And it's kind of got a crunch behind it. Mm. That's nice. So good. I would do it every morning before school started. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Milo. Not healthy. <laughs> and it was like, a Milo a day helps you work, rest, and play. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yeah, work, rest, and play. Okay. Sorry, I can't get you that report. I haven't had my Milo. <laughs> Let me get onto it real quick. Yeah. Mm. Zelda is trying to play cleanup crew so efficiently. Mm-hmm. All right. Fuck, I'm full. <sighs> that was a four and 20 uh, meat pie ad. Oh, geez, I'm full. Remember that one? Because they're eating rabbit food at the restaurant and the tradesmen are sitting outside oh, yes. eating the meat pie. Oh, excuse oh. me. The Do you remember the yellow meat pies? Yes. The number one so best pie good. shop ever. And I would get it with the oh. um, mashed potato on top. And the mashed potato almost looked like a soft serve because it was like that. And it was like also set a little bit. It was so yes. good. They're the oh. best pies. Oh my gosh. Every I time we go went down, one. every time we went down to um, the beach, we would get pies on the yes. way back. Oh, mm -hmm. Best. So good. So good. I forgot all about Yatla Pies. I'm having the biggest nostalgia trip yeah. day today. I ran a Keep club. I'm trying to convince everyone to come back to Australia, or everyone in Discord when they post pictures of snow, and I just need to tell them. I don't think Americans understand how good a meat pie is. Mm. All right, I need a palate cleanser. That's a lot of chocolate, like it is. And now it's starting to seep down, so it looks like, yeah, like that. But you, like, it just sits on top usually. I don't like chocolate milk. That's why I do it. I hate chocolate milk. So I want to have the, mi the Milo before it turns chocolatey. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. <laughs> Ups and downs. Ups and downs. <laughs> Weeding Tim Tam. I'm here for Tim Tam. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to hear it because Tim yes. and Tam make an appearance here. Now, Rachel, I don't think you know this, but I was like a bit of an ambassador for Tim Tams. I think it was, what, three years ago uh, on Australia Day. Um, Tim Tams sent me boxes of them. And basically, I think it was that Tim Tams started becoming available in America. And so they wanted Aussies okay. in America to be like, oh, if you can get a fucking bloody Tim Tam in ya, <laughs> eat a Tim Tam. And so I showed everyone how to do a Tim Tam slam. And it was... I, I nearly maxed out on Tim Tams. There was a time there where if I never ate one again, I would be okay. And then I waited a year and now I'm good again. Okay. So. I've just found a picture of you eating a Tim Tam as I was searching for that. And I'm just yeah. going to post it in Twitch subs yeah. so that they can go enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. So I've already had three. There's 11. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> um, I'm going to try one. I'm going to show you what it's like. Yeah, that's the one. I'm so happy though. I'm so happy. So it's essentially two biscuits covered in chocolate, but there's like a, a filling in the middle. <laughs> and so I'll show you what it looks like in the middle. So you've got your biscuit, your biscuit, and then there's chocolate filling. 
But because the biscuits are above and below, the trick is, this is the Tim Tam Slam. Oh, I'm hitting a maximum capacity. I'll, I'll soldier through. You do a little bite out the top and the bottom, like so. Mm. And this is now a straw. So. The best straw. You take your milk or your coffee and you drink your milk through your Tim Tam straw. Mm -hmm. It's not pretty, but what it's done is it's um, made all the biscuit part nice and soggy, but because it's wrapped in chocolate, it stays contained. So that when you eat this bite, it's drenched in ice cold milk and it's just like this explosion. Oh, it's so good. So good. It's so good. It shouldn't be that good. <laughs> and Nathan's right. If you have a hot drink, it does melt the middle. But then it, it makes it a whole lot messier. Mm. Zelda just burped so loudly. <laughs> I thought it was my stomach growling. No, 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 it was burping. Mm. Red vines and Mountain Dew? Whoa. I didn't even know you could. Tate the Aussie says vodka is a good substitute for milk and coffee too. I have done it with red wine before. Don't recommend. That's something that doesn't you, sound good. It's something that you only need to do once. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So there you have it. Tim Tams. Milo. Vegemite. Caramella koalas. Pizza shapes. Passiona and dream white creamy chocolate. Let's <sighs> what a haul. Uh Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. <laughs> oh. I think I've just eaten more calories in an hour and a half than I have uh, in the last two days. <laughs> Well, actually, that's not included. That, uh, that's not true. I had all the. I had three Tim Tams before this and half a block of chocolate. So, yeah. Today's been a good day. It's, it's been a, a good day. Zell, mm. so, she's, she's just, she's being ridiculous. <laughs> that was nice though. So the proceeds yeah. from this are going straight to your dentist, right? Hey, Clancy, I'll say it before, I'll say it again. I passed as twenty-seven, so in my twenty-seven years on this planet. I have zero fillings slash cavities, depending on what you call them, but I have none. These chompers are A+. plus. Got to hit the chocolate aisle at Woolies now. Am I having a, cra a sugar crash? Who, f f you called it. <laughs> I feel like I've hit the wall. No, I haven't hit a wall, but I've like, the wall's soft and comfy and I'm kind of going up to the wall and being like well this is nice I'll stay here for a bit you know brain it's shutting down I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish that Milo that Milo was rich but I don't think I can give it to Zelda because like she's a dog <laughs> like, she's not supposed to eat that this makes me want to order some Tim Tams do it Tim Tams are great yeah, hey Tim Tams, year three or four with this, send send some more. I'll run an extra mile each morning. Give me some more Tim Tams. They got some hectic flavors at the moment. <sighs> what? Tell me, talk me through them. Let me let me pull some of them up. Yeah. Oh, they're so good. There's like Black Forest. There's, there's white, there's white yes. chocolate. You know yes. what? Maybe I could have another sip of the Milo. 
there's the Murray River Salted Double Chalk. They're naming them all after Aussie places. Mm. Um, one that's like a cherry ripe. You know my feelings on Morton that. Bay. Yeah, what's well, raspberry and dark chocolate? Not my favorite. Morton Bay. I used to I used to play hockey against Morton Bay girls' grandma or something. Morton Bay. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they had Morton Bay bugs. Yes, mm. delicious. The Kensington Pride mango and cream. Where's I actually Ke- thought that was good. Where's Kensington Pride? I have no idea. Where is that if they're naming beautiful. it after them? I'm assuming some place that has a lot of mangoes. Oh, it should be in Brizzy then. And we're in Queensland. We should know this. Mm. Mm. Um, That one tastes like, do you remember? I, I always say the Bowen mango. mango? We spa? Yeah, we spa. Oh, we spa. We spa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We spa bow and mango. And then Dimbula, I'm probably saying that wrong, Mountain Estate Coffee and Chalk, which was delightful. I had that, that one the other day. Mm. Is that cake? No, these are Tim Tam flavours. Uh, Field hockey the is Gisborne amazing. Gisborne Orange and Dark Chocolate. I think I have to put this out of its misery. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Um, Bogload, is this a regular Tuesday stream thing? If I did this, I would waddle. There is no way I'm doing massive eating thing. What is that? That's a genre though. Watching people like eat massive amounts of food. Look, look back. Mukbangs, I never said it right. Mukbangs, I think. Mukbangs. Mukbang. I, I don't know how they. Yeah, mukbang. Mukbang. Muk. Mukbang. Mukbang. Someone needs to roll more from the computer. Look, you're joking. I'm not. <laughs> like, that's how this is going. That's why I had to wear my pajama shorts because they got a stretchy drawstring on them, and I can. Oh no. Oh, oh, I mean, to be fair, the uh, the pizza shapes were gluten, and gluten makes me, my tummy swell up. <laughs> <coughs> Look, the good news is that I feel a little bit better now that I've done that. <laughs> but at this stage, I don't think I can apologize for that. <laughs> Thanks, Tron. It's, it's, um, <laughs> I've got two follows as soon as I <laughs> Tron Bree and Rosmosis, thanks so much for the <laughs> follows. It was the burp that put them over the edge. <laughs> they weren't sure until then. I don't feel good. Oh, this is yummy, though. Honestly, the trip down memory lane has been spectacular. These are all foods that I would eat a lot in my childhood. Like I said, like... P- uh, pizza shapes and barbecue shapes, hangover cure. Milo every single morning when I was in year 12 because the school was paying for it and I was going to get my money's <laughs> worth. Cadbury uh-huh. caramel koalas. Mm, usually party bags. Party yeah. bags that um, uh, when you were a kid and you had someone had a birthday, you'd make little lolly bags, party bags. We didn't really do... Halloween though, so that's probably when we did it. We just had multiple lolly bags throughout the year when everyone had a birthday. Yeah. Um, the Pasito again was a birthday treat because I didn't really have soft drink as a kid. Dream chocolate that was adult mode, being like I make adult dollars now, so I'm going to eat this delicious chocolate, chocolate. Um, and then Tim Tams, I've actually been eating more. T- well, I told you at the end of every field hockey game, I would obliterate an entire packet. I can't do that now. I have tried. Oh, I've got Milo all in my keyboard. That's oh, fun. No. <laughs> That's cool. Um, what did everyone else have for dinner? <laughs> Question for Australians: Do your Kinder Surprise eggs have toys in it? Yes. Yeah. Should, do they do they not elsewhere? And they're shit toys now. <laughs> What's the surprise if there's no toys? Um, apparently in, a, in America, someone choked on the toy in the kinder, so they um, stopped it completely. But uh, someone killed uh, numerous amounts of children with a semi-automatic and they didn't ban guns. <laughs> you know, there's one danger thing there. and It's definitely the toy inside a kinder surprise. Not even before we get into guns and banning, mm-hmm. but like the fact that it's a semi-automatic and you, it could have been regulated more. But yeah, that's yeah. the that's the point I'm trying to make. Yeah. 
<sighs> Maud, you can't yeah. eat a gun. <laughs> <laughs> you can't eat a gun. <laughs> oh dear, it's all happening. <laughs> um, Vaden had some k- uh, kebab with grilled vegetables. Yum. I am like yum. so full that I feel sick and I still said yum. The Bug surprising word. kinder is death. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. Mikey. Um, oh no, Dante. Oh no. As a gun owner, one of the greatest things about America is our hypocrisy. Thanks, Cat. And your name's Cat22. <laughs> uh, sometimes irony just strikes right, you know. Nathan's having cereal tonight. And you like soggy cereal. Cheese, Zoop steak and is. fries. Sid, that sounds good. Sid, are you Sid with a soft C or are you a kid X with a hard C? C, you just don't. Baked pasta, says Neanderson. Had some Annie's mac and cheese, very good. At, it really is. Uh, uh, ups and downs. I have that one. The, the white the white sauce, the little shells, they're really good. And they're reasonably priced as well. Catch is having leftovers. You had sushi, Gory. I mean, I'm yet to have dinner. Who knows what the night could entail. What are you feeling? What do you think you're going to have? It's a soft C. Listen, sit. there's KFC with my name on it. Kafka. I just found out today that apparently KFC is only called Kentucky Fried Chicken in America. And because um, Australians called McDonald's Maccas, like no wiggle room, 100% just Maccas. And yeah. like, you know, made a multi-billion dollar company <laughs> change their name pretty much because of the colloquialism. Yeah. Uh, KFC was never supposed to be KFC, but changed it for an Australian audience. And now KFC are rebranding back to Kentucky Fried Chicken. Hey, Video Club Random. Thanks for the follow. Interesting. I mean, as an Australian who abbreves Evs, there's no way I'm going to utter Kentucky Fried Chicken when I can say Kifika. <laughs> Do you want to go get a zinger box from Kentucky Fried Chicken? It's too long. Not enough minutes in the day. Just uh-huh. say Kentucky Fried Chicken in its whole length. <laughs> Kif- for sure. Kifka. You could sneeze. Kifka. <laughs> Kifka. That's what I'm saying. Kifka. Well, no one. Yes. Obviously, no one calls it Kifka, but me, because I'm an. Kifka. <clears throat> I'm being facetious. But we call it KFC. KFC. I was in a KFC ad. No. Yes. And uh, we found out in my source fed days that it was translated for Romania. Really? And the ad is on YouTube. Someone has to find that. I need to watch that. Romania. And I originally was in Australia in 2009. I did that ad. So it's like 20 years ago. Let me pull it up, see what we got get two dogs oh, I do. Maud, just just what was I like with the dog training like? because they the are training. what was it like autoplay it's always me um I have to go to this account oh my gosh guys I'm hurting I'm really I'm really hurting uh, it's that channel and then I scroll all the way down to light videos is it here Light. Come on. I did a lot of random stuff, let me tell you. <gasps> Favorites, here we go. No, not you. Not you, not you, not you. No, no, none of those. <gasps> Come on. Sorry, this is not interesting at all. But there is a video out there. So I did a Japanese commercial, says Jimmy. What? Interesting. I didn't do a Japanese commercial. <laughs> He's laughing about it, so, so maybe there's a joke there. I had shorter hair and then five to five seconds to find or well, link it. <laughs> took five yeah. Found it on Reddit. I'm going the long way, I guess. Let me Google. Mod Garrett. K- trying to link it but it's got the links blocked oh, out oh yeah, yeah yeah you're right it does if you're on the discord pop it in discord twitch subs k 
KFC. Here it is. Oh, yeah, it's on Reddit. It's the first one. Okay. All right, here it is. Okay. Hmm. Let me do some of my prowess. While I do this, <laughs> um, I'd like to tell everyone that this was like my first or my first ever commercial, I think. I did a Mazda one and I don't know if it was before or after, but like I didn't really do commercials and so I was really new to it. And this guy was an ask an actor he was a thespian oh. um and he was from brisbane where i'm from but it was in sydney and he was like i've done so many of these this is how you do it this is what's supposed to happen but i was doing all my scenes first and we broke for lunch an hour early because i landed it and they're like yeah we got it we can cut and i was like great and then after lunch it was his turn and we lost that hour and then had to stay back an extra an extra hour because he couldn't land My his gosh. line and I'm here going, it, it's just like this. And he's like, no, no, I know what I'm doing. And I was like, but, oh. but you don't because it's taken you two hours longer than what it took. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, here's the guy. Um, let's have a look-see. I need to add window capture. Add source. That's not it. Oh, why are you going to be so difficult? I'm still learning. Window capture. Add a new source instead. Got it. Add a new source. We want a window. We want a Am I oh, I'm not doing it. Am I doing this live again? No one tell Batum. Beatum does not need to know. Oh, I did it wrong again. Listen. Listen. You're doing fine, you got this. <laughs> Dante's supporting you. No, I just I don't want stretch to fit. Fit to screen. Okay. Oh. I'm doing this live. So I'm just going to little. Oh, there she is. She's holding hands. I know. She has oh. sweaty she has sweaty palms. He hated it. Whatever. Okay. Oh. Here she is. You ready? Oh my god. Mm, Can you hear it? Happens? No. Ai ceva diferit? No, that's the water. Hey. Pot să gust și eu? Noua colecție de vară. Alege Twister Classic cu Crispy Strips sau Twister Gris cu castrave și sos tzatziki sau încearcă Twister Magnific cu bacon și brânză. Toate înfășurate în tot. my hand. Se schimbat. He couldn't get that line. Twister, colecția de vară. Classic, Greek sau Magnific. Did you hear any of that? No, I don't think so. I, at least I couldn't hear it. But True Scorn says you're an ageless elf, so that's delightful. Hey. <laughs> So, I mean, it's not kind of irrelevant because it's in a foreign language. Um, but it's so funny. All he had to say, he goes, is something different? That's it. That's all he had to say, something different. Uh -huh. And I'm like, yeah, my fucking hair's all cut off. So the only reason why I got that job is because I had short hair. So the short hair that I had and that was what I really had. And then they put all these extensions in and then I got the haircut. Um, it was so, it's so weird. It was a whole day on set just to do that. Oh, Dante's Romanian. Did you understand it? That's me. funny. Did you understand it? Did my dub sound good? We, we had rat, we had twisters. Um, and my other favorite part about shooting was I had to do the bite, right? And the bite's so important. And they have like food dresses on set. So each of these individually wrapped ones have been like tailored to look perfect. And so I have to wait a little second before taking a bite. And then they had the spit bucket next to me so that I could spit out the, the bite of it. I didn't. <laughs> I'm like, okay, um, mm, swallow it. And they're like, oh, no, no, you don't have to because like you're going to be doing like quite a few takes. So you don't want to have a, um, you don't want to bite each one. And, you know, like mm -hmm. the, the food dressers have been prepping them. Like this, it's not great. And I'm like, I already ate it. Like I was done. <laughs> And then the next, <laughs> the next take, I'm like, um, you're like, you can spit it out. I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> I ended up like getting so much. Like I probably had about five of those twisters. What are they called? Twisty, whatever that is. Oh, it sound the voice sounded so different to you. Uh, that's a bummer. Oh, well. But yeah, that's one of the ads. I think there's another ad. I mean, um, a Mazda, but you can barely see it. But I shimmy and it was like not what I was supposed to do. They were like. Your two girls in the car, you just go from going to the gym and then it's like this whole drive-through thing. So you go through like a drive-through 
uh, boutique and then all, all of a sudden you're in like your nightwear and you're having fun. And the director's like, you know, you're having fun. I'm like, I'm sitting in a car. How am I supposed to be like at a party having fun? And so like full sarcastically, I just look at my friend who's driving the car and I'm like, yeah, they use it. They use it. Of course they do. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. But um, the girl I made friends with, her name is, you might know this, her name is Amali. She was on like season one or two of the the vo- the Amer- Australian Idol when it first happened. She was 16. She's from Tasmania. Oh, yeah. uh, now she's just had her first kid. <laughs> but oh. from that ad in 2009, her and I stayed friends. And like she'll come to it because she's an actress. She comes to um, LA for pilot season and she like stays with me. It's the best. Wow. Yeah. But that's from that Mazda ad. <laughs> How has no one found the Mazda ad yet? <laughs> Come on. Maud Garrett Mazda commercial. No, no. Um, Sprinkles is asking if this means I'm going to cut my hair again. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Wow, that's unfortunate. <laughs> All right. There you go. So now we're going full trip down memory lane, aren't we? <laughs> hey, uh, Rach, back to you. What's what's some of the buzz and news that's happening over in Geek Bump right now? Um, we I was actually I'm writing an article right now about what's happening over at CD Projekt Red. So I don't know if you've heard about that. Dude, they, I do. I guess, they got yeah cut. ransomed. Yeah, c- cyber attack or or hack, whatever you want to call it, which is interesting um and the reaction on the internet has been i I don't know i would have thought a lot more people would have been behind cd project red but there's some people who are saying they deserve it for what they've done to no one deserves that no one deserves unraveling of it no that's like saying (sighs) what is that like saying that's like saying you forgot to feed your dog dinner and so someone killed the dog (laughs) yeah i don't know it's just like it's uh, not it's not right i haven't got a good analogy for it but this is the whole Mm. thing where two wrongs don't make it right yeah exactly and i I, yeah i don't think i don't think they deserve it and i think yes it was cd uh, did they put out a not great game not finished game sure but yeah uh, they didn't deserve to be hacked and no they offered refunds um, yeah you can go get a refund if you want. One's a game, so, one's a business. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It feels icky. Leave, leave them be. It does. It really does. Um, and what else? Um, I'm talking about a... Well, I don't know if you recently saw this game that I spoke about. Um, it's like an open world um, survival game. Viking! Valheim! Valheim? Yeah. Yeah, I want to play it. Um, I believe Nathan is calling it Mordheim. Um which already, me- I think, means you have to play it. More time. Yeah, which is part uh, of the hack. Yeah. Is that unreleased stuff? Is this for the upcoming Witcher? Or I saw that. It was Witcher and Gwent and, like, all the stuff that they're working on. More time. They got quick hacked. Got to admit the irony is not bad. <laughs> mm. oh. I don't know. I yeah. just... No, I, don't think, I don't think it's all right, but... I always feel, I mean, sort of bad, but, like, people that over promise and under deliver it's like oh that's nah. yeah that's tough i watched i've been reading some reviews about how um they what the game that they promised was not remotely close to the game that we received i think everyone agrees with that yeah and i think they agree with that which is why you can get refunded yeah um, and like this so sto- their stocks yeah. crashed like they got punished yeah. There, there was backlash up the wazoo. Like it crippled the company already. So to do this, it's like, mm-hmm. yeah, you crippled the the company had the deserved backlash. But for exactly to permanently cripple, like this is this feels like cancel culture in a way where it's like, well, it you does. can't ever redeem yourself. So we're taking over any chance of you to do better. And I don't really believe People in that. So easily forget that they're the team behind Witcher. Yeah. Like, the, the Witcher was a game that has been 
the, held the, the most Game of the Year titles for, what is it, like five years straight? And now it's like everyone's forgotten that CD Projekt Red made that game. Yeah. Like, they're not, they're not not capable of making good games. I don't know. Well, Witcher as well. more time. When Witcher came out, apparently it was underdeveloped as well. It's like it was still glitchy as hell and they had to do a lot of work yeah. post-release for it. I, I think that they should not have – I think they should have delayed the release until, like, PS5 and um, Series X – uh, was well and truly out so that they had a really yeah. great game for the current gen instead of trying to backpedal and like make something for the previous like it's just too, that was too much of a you know slice of cake to eat yeah I think you're right I think they were working too hard on making a previous gen game work better on current like new gen next gen yeah whereas they should have been just focusing on making it good for PS4 and Xbox One and PC and then once that was released, come out with the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S version. Isaac's even um, saying that um, it just should have been released for PC only and then delay the console. Yeah. But, you I mean, I can I picture mean, the uproar for that where it's like all the spoilers, I've seen all everything. Like, you know, if one console has it and it's not a blanket release, this fucking sucks. A lot of this is lose-lose. Like there's no yeah. number one way to do it. Catch 22, have a good night. Oh, you got yeah, an 8 a.m. meeting. We No fun. What do you? Oh, um, yeah. Nathan asked if I had any more Mordhalla streams. No one was watching Mordhalla. No one was watching Assassin's Creed. I feel like open world RPGs are a little bit trickier to stream. They're not as captivating or enticing as, say, like a quick round of Among Us with like a lot of people uh, where everyone kind of knows the gist of the game and the purpose. So that's a bit tricky. I mean, that's why I kind of want to do a little bit more just chatting because it works. It works. <laughs> Um, I did make a new emote though <laughs> in the zone, you know, when I get in like, <laughs> you know, when I get really into the game and I forget that like people are watching and there's a chat, <laughs> I've got an emote for that now. It looks so good. Yeah. We've got some great things and we're working on some channel, um, perks so that you can spend channel points, which would be really fun as well. And if you're a um, member of the Send in the Bomb Squad tier on Patreon, you unlock the Guardian access on our Discord, and Maud's been sharing with them some sneak peeks of what's coming up. So if you want to get those sneak peeks, jump onto that Patreon. Yeah. I always find a way to plug the Patreon, <laughs> uh, even when I'm not in chat. Yeah, the Patreon's legit. The $5 opens up the pretty much almost the rest of the Discord, but it just keeps yeah. – there's $5 – $10, 40 and 80 and 10, 40 and 80 have their own sort of secret chat, which uh, they only get access to. Um, and there's a unique perks for all of them. So channel 10, uh, channel 10, tier, $10 tier gets access to bonus content that I do with Trisha Hirschberger every month. Uh, $40 gets access to the photo shoot that I do every month. And this one is sick. The next couple of months are going to be legit. Um, so they, they're very much of the quality, not quantity variety. Um, and then $80, we do hangouts. We work up, I've, I don't even think you, I've told you guys this, my $80, uh, we have a new name for them. They're the VIPs. <laughs> We're calling them VIPs. So yeah. Uh, and we also game every now and then we play some among us as well. So yes. that's been a lot of fun gaming with, which the vips so much and from finding out how many of them just want to murder me has also been enjoyable you are just a little slaughterer yeah <laughs> yeah it's in my name right i gotta live up to it the fact that frisk saw it and went you know what i'll give it to you like that one game that yeah. we did at the charities was amazing <laughs> oh vibs oh i like vibs very important bombers i like that vib vib cool you see it's a group it's a group collaboration really it's a collab effort um i can i try something else as well there's something that i want to unlock on the twitch they like set you little challenges and stuff that you have to unlock and i don't know if i told you guys but i applied for partner for the second time went where didn't get it again so i'm hoping that a couple of these things will help and one of them still is this 50 people chatting at one time 
If 86 people are watching, then if everyone chats right now, I should be able to unlock that. And I feel like I've done this twice before with a little more, with more viewers and it didn't work. But this time I feel good about it. So if you're watching right now, even if it's in the background, could you give me three minutes of your time? And like Pianki, yay, like Pianki has just done, just type chat, chat, chat. And I'll shout you guys out if you do that. So Pianki, thank you so much. Road Jogger, so good to hear from you again. Strideru, hello. Thank you, hello. Gory. Take the Aussie now. Yeah, do it. Chat, chat, chat. Everyone chat. Sneezy Dwarf. Oh, hello. Tron Bree saying chat. Bibi Aoi. Aoi. Oh, My gosh, look at all these people chatting now. Hello. Grave mistake. Hello. Cinema. Nathan Counts. hello. Nathan, hello. Faden, thank you so much for chatting. Look at everyone. Rain. Hey, chat. Hey, hey. The Nerdtastic says chat, chat. Yay. Schlo, City of Snake. Look at all these names that like. Usually it's the same sort of like 15 people, which is fantastic. I love that. But I had no idea that there were so many more there. That's so great. Hello, Critonation. Oh, hey. Thank you, Diabetic Orphan, as well, for your earlier subs. That was just the best. You should get partner. You stream regularly enough now. You would think so, GNU user. You would think so. How are we going? Does that everyone? Yes, Dragon Ghost. Great. Yes. Everyone get in there. Release the chat. Hell, I'll get in on it. <laughs> Why aren't I chatting? Because I can't type chest. Oh my god, I tried twice and I'm zero chat, from two. <laughs> I'm zero from two. Okay, I am able to do it. <laughs> I am able to. Chat, chat, chat. Thanks, Dante. Cinemillennials. Cinemillennials. I get it now. Cinemillennials. Hi, Corey. Hi. Thank you. Thank you for saying chat, chat. We'll see how we go. Nerdtastic, there's some great emotes. Loving that. Jimmy Ah, oh, That's great. Chatteroo. Chatterooski. <laughs> Chatteroni. <laughs> great. Yeah, I'm really trying to get partner. Like I, if I get, I mean, I think I have to do it before I get it, but I am aiming to do at least two streams a week. Um, I'm wanting to do, I love Stardew Valley. I really want to play more of that. I've been getting into Rust. Uh, cat is chat in French. Hey, more chat, more chat, more chat. Yeah, let's get some more chat. <laughs> Sneezy Dwarf, have you been there the whole time? I would love to see you more in the chat. That's such a great username. Chat in the hat. That's a good one, Road Jogger. Well done. Yeah, I love Stardew and it's just like a good zen, especially like uh, I need to stream raid. Stream raid? I will I will raid peoples. Uh, apparently though, Terry, like the numbers can't be based on raids. So it's like your average average the whole time. The numbers oh, can't Maud, be based shush. on I'm raids. Oh, my gosh. So I'm like bringing – Maud, Maud, I don't know how to – I'm bringing – I'm hearing myself um, telling me to shut up. for you in Twitch subs. Yes. That was brought to me at my attention. Oh, we found it. <laughs> Amali. Um, yeah, it's a... You guys are all a little too clever. All righty. I'll pull it up. I'm going to do it the proper way this time. <sighs> Before and after. There we go. Window capture. We hit that goal yet, by the way? I hope so. Only one way to find out. After. Rustlick says, Stardew forever. Corn chowder. <laughs> yes, Corey. More chats. Chattering teeth. Chatty, yes. Uh, KFC. Nope. Oh. Master ad. How come it's not showing up? It's not showing up. I have to do another one. Gosh, it's finicky. It's finicky. <laughs> finicky is a great word. All right, here it is. Um, transform, fit to screen. Do a little trimming. Making my way downtown. All right. Whew. 
You ready? Blink and you'll miss it. That's not me. That's not me. See, it's like drive-by. Alrighty, here we go. Gym gear. That's not my hand. Gym gear. Oh, let's go through a drive through boutique. And now look. Oh, idiot. There it is. <laughs> oh my god, I mean, I'm blurred the whole time. But they used me looking like an absolute drongo. There you go. Amazing. That's the ad. That's the ad. That's it. I wasn't so featured as the last one, but, you know, baby steps. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, blurred mode looked great. Okay, but did you ever drive a Mazda 3? I've driven a Mazda 3 before. I'm a Hyundai girl, though. Hey, Rach, how do you say Hyundai? Hyundai? Say it again. Hyundai? How are you supposed to say it? Hyundai. In America, it's Hyundai. Hyundai. Rhymes with Sunday. I've heard they say a lot of cards, like different car names weird. Nissan is Nissan. That's not right. It's Nissan. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I am get I get ridiculed for saying car names in America when I'm like, oh, I've got or a I, Hyundai, and they're like Hyundai, and I'm like, Hyundai, it's Hyundai. They're like, it's Hyundai, Hyundai. it's Hyundai, and I'm like, no, it's Don't not. Don't they say shoe names weird too, like Adidas or something different? We say Adidas. They say Adidas. Yeah, weird, wrong. We say Adidas. And we say Nike and they say like Nike or something. Nike, yeah. Weird. I'm joking. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Nike. You can tell me anything. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Strange Americans. <laughs> Subaru is Subaru, isn't it? Su- no. Subaru. It's a Subaru, I thought. Um, Subaru. What other? Yeah, so if I say Nissan, you say... Nissan. Yeah. What are the other cars? We don't have Holden. Nissan. We don't have Holden. Oh, it Mazda. is. It is Subaru. It's like like when it goes ooh baloo in one of the Disney movies. It's Subaru. Uh. I thought we said Nike, and they say Nike. Maybe I'm doing it. I'm. I thought it was Nike. I hosted an event for Nike. I can't remember. I can't. It was so long ago. It was back when I was. Dante says the way you say Nissan hurts me. <laughs> Nissan rhymes with listen. I'm sorry. L- Nissan here. I am Nissaning. <laughs> I'm Nissaning. Oh, you did some bits. Oh, I forgot to emote bitte pate. Bitte pate. Bitte pate. Bitte pate. I like them. Jag- Jaguar? Jaguar. Is that how you say Jaguar? Jaguar. Jaguar. Nissan. 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 No, it's weird. What are the other ones? I, I did this whole bit with um Sam Basher when we were doing Smordcast. Like when I said I got a Hyundai and he was like, what? Like whipped his head to me. Being like, there's no, how do we say Ferrari? Ferrari. How do they say it? Three Brits say it Jaguar. Yeah, Jaguar. Puma. Yeah, pu- 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 Puma. Pew, 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 Puma. Not Puma. Puma. It's not Puma. It's not like your mum did a turd. It's not Puma. <laughs> it's Puma. Just like Tuesday. It's not Tuesday. It's not Call of Duty. It's Tuesday <laughs> and Call of du- Duty. Duty. Mind you, I did get a little bit of heat um, with the game that I love, my little farming game, because I was trying to tell someone about it, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm paying, I'm playing Stardew Valley, and they're like, <laughs> what? What are the Jews doing? <gasps> and I'm like, oh, no, Stardew Valley, Star Stardew, Jew, Stardew Valley. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, Stardew, Stardew Valley, because that's how I say Jew, Jew, Stardew. Yeah. Stardew, Stardew, Stardew yeah. Valley, yeah. Weird. Mm-hmm. D-U-E, Dew, Dew. It's a, it's got a D in there, but like when you're just saying it quickly, Stardew. Stardew. Yeah. yeah, just like how I say June. D-U-N-E. Yeah. June. 
But like you do hear the D on it slightly, like June. June. But it's like D- it's more of like a D Y makes the J sound. June. Yeah. June. Yeah. Instead of Dune. June. <laughs> Dune. Dune. See, I don't know. I, I feel like we just sound weird because we're two Australians agreeing on how to say things. What's D Django? No, I've heard them. I've heard the caramel, but it's caramel. Oh, they car- caramel. Caramel, like it's two syllables. It's like it's ca- <laughs> it's caramel, but like not a mel. It's still it's still not a mel, because they're like no. ca- caramel. It's like no, it's caramel. <laughs> Caramel. Yeah. Yeah. Caramel. No. Drew Valley. Doing. Star Drew Valley. Oh, space laser. What? Car. Caramel. 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 Yeah, Caramel. No. Caramel. It's Why would it be mull? Caramel. No, it's mel. Caramel. Caramel. But not a yeah, caramel. We don't. Say, right. But you don't say caramel. You don't say caramel. You say caramel. Car- Apparently, say caramel it. Caramel and car- carol mall <laughs> is a fight in the in the US. So I guess caramel. No. Caramel. So, okay. Mall Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> Rach, say the word again. Caramel. Yeah. Caramel. Caramel. Yeah. It sounds so pres. pres- Pretentious. <laughs> Levio saw. <laughs> Levio saw. Squirrel versus squirrel. Oh my god. Americans squirrel. make squirrel a uh, one syllable word. Did you see that? Squirrel? <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> it's like you have to hurt your mouth saying it. Squirrel. <laughs> it's like the only person who can say it properly is the guy from Men in Black when he's taken over, the cockroach has taken over the body and he's like, the funny thing about that squirrel. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a 1997 I joke. <laughs> used to always pretend to be that guy from Men in Black, and it would creep me out. Like I'd walk around the corner, and he'd be like twitching, and like start talking in that voice. I'm like, I can't do this. Rach, you don't know this, but I've wanted to dress up as that for Halloween for five no. years. I want to do it no. so bad. But I've seen you get terrified. You can't stand a haunted house, but you dress up as that guy from Men in Black. Yeah, I really want to do it. Well, you know, like, it's that whole thing. There are two types of women on Halloween. (laughs) I'm the other one. (laughs) Yes. Yeah, I'm the other one. I did do Laura Dern instead, though, because I had a boyfriend that year. And I didn't want to go to a Halloween party and be like, shut up. Uh, oh my god. And he'd be like, Oh my god, you're single. I'd be like, That's fair. <laughs> like, I get it. <laughs> and he, he dressed up as um Dr. Sam Neil, um, and I was Laura Dern. So that was like a really sweet nice. That was really cool. So cool. That was a cool thing. Yes, I will hydrate. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's a random fact that you'll never forget? Because mine is Peter and the Wolf. Bum, ba, dum, bum, ba, da, 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 da. I don't know why. I think that's what it is. Oh no, it's different. It's da 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 I know just this song and I know the title of of the of the I did baby elephant first. Road jogger, well done coming in with that fact. But then I did Peter and the Wolf, right? Tara USA says Tara. I know Tara. Tara. So that's a random fact that I know. What's another? What's your random fact, Rach? What random fact do you know? You know what I think amazes me is that a lot of people on this watching right now have never seen Round the Twist. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you ever? That was my childhood. Never felt felt like like this. this. Yeah, so good. It was so (laughs) well done. Oh, beautiful. The the first part. So how do I? Dun, 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 That's Peter and the Wolf. What was the? F- I can't remember how the first one that I did. I can't remember how it went. <laughs> uh, um, gosh, can't even remember. No. <laughs> um, it's the baby elephant one. Y- yeah. Now, um. Now all I can do in my head is da 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 da. Um. Remember Baba? Oh, Baba! Yes. 
Who made that show and how did Australia get it? Is it still going? Baba. I didn't love it, but it was just on. And I think if I got through that, I could watch Rugrats or something. So I just sucked it up. But like for real, America is missing out so much with British old cartoons like Super Ted and Banana Man. Because they would do all the exposition in the t- um, the intro of the cartoon. And it was so good. And they would be like ye olde kind of like um, radio kind of announcers. But my favorite is like Eric was this boy who ate a banana and got superpowers. And right at the end, it goes, Eric is Banana Man. <laughs> and it gives me life. I love it. And the other one is like Super Ted. And the line that sticks out to me is, and then a spotty man came down. <laughs> so what? <laughs> but you remember Super Ted, right? Super Ted? I don't think I do. Super Ted. Super Ted. Oh, come on. And then a spotty man came. Oh, Super Ted. Oh, can someone link the Super Ted intro? We need to jog Rachel's memory. Remind me. How I'm did too you busy not get finding pictures of Baba? How did you not get Super Ted? Super Ted. Oh man, I must Was talk about it a lot. I must talk about it if the only way that everyone knows about it. Oh, sorry, catch. <laughs> I'm talking shit. Like honestly, I'm talking about Australian television for british shows artificial strawberry and raspberry flavoring was once derived from a gland what from a beaver's anus that's a good <laughs> random fact oh baba Step away for chat for one second he's he's very sweet super ted what did he do talk a lot <laughs> all right i'll get super ted intro am i gonna get flagged Super Ted animated series. Ah, oh, it's so good. It's so random. It's so random. Oh dear. I can't believe I'm showing Super Ted. Ah, oh, Beatum told me something to do where I could refresh it, but I can't remember how to do that. Is that. No, it's not going to work. All right, so I have to build a new one every single time. That's silly. But I'll do it because I'm going to play Super Ted for you. And then I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do after that. I want to hear everyone's random facts. What is the most random fact you know? What random fact do you have? You know, Almighty Johnson's Terry's Watch. I feel like that sounds familiar. It's a Kiwi show. Oh, I, we haven't figured out how to get sound in. Have you been able to hear any of the commercials yet? Uh, the last one we could hear better, I think. Okay. Let's see if we can get this one happening. Super Ted. Beards. Nathan's random fact is that beards grow in unevenly. I feel like I knew that. Yeah, Diabetic Nath- orphans. Some people like cucumbers better. Better pickled? Is that what you're trying to say? You ready? This is a story about an ordinary teddy bear. When he was made, they found something wrong with him and threw him away like like a a piece piece of rubbish rubbish into an old dark storeroom. Then, from outer space, a spotty man brought him to life with his cosmic dust. He took him to a magic cloud where Mother Nature gave him special powers. He rips his clothes off. He rips his skin off. Became Super Ted. Super Ted. So good. I want to get Thunder. Banana Man. Man. Yeah. Eric is Banana Man. Here it is. (laughs) No. There it is. Intro. I just want the intro. Banana Man intro. It's so bad. But um, threw it away, threw him away like a piece of rubbish. My God. I say that all the time. Twenty-nine Acacia Road. Oh and my gosh. Do you remember this? Schoolboy who leads an Look at amazing him. He looks drunk. Oh, he looks always drunk. When Eric eats a banana, an amazing transformation occurs. Eric is banana. Eric is banana man. It's the Ever same intro as Super Ted, The 
this is life, man. Oh, trapdoor. I hated trapdoor. Trapdoor. I hated trapdoor. It was so scary. No. This is so scary for a kid. Trapdoor was amazing. Stands an ancient castle. Deep within this dank and uninviting place lives Burke. Oh, oh. Overworked creepy. servant. Why is this guy swimming upstairs? Upstairs. Uh, Yeah, I'm a TJ baby. Thunder. Trapdoor was amazing. But that's no, nothing too. compared no. to the horrors that lurk beneath the trapdoor. It was all like this. But there is always something kind of down stuff. there. In the dark, waiting to come out. Ready? <laughs> oh, you don't get it. Oh, it, it would go <laughs> at the end. Anyway, um, this is Australian cartoons now. Um, <laughs> well, BBC cartoons. But yeah, Eric was like, <laughs> the least that could happen. The least that could happen was just get the followed by Jurassic Junior. Wait, is this spooky? Hey, listen, Skippy, Super Gran. What is that? What's super grand? I don't. I remember the the re- the ferals. Banana. Oh. Okay, so people are saying banana man's creepy. Um, but can we all just add to our vernacular and threw him away like a piece of rubbish? Because <laughs> that's the best. <laughs> I love that. Oh, maybe it's a good thing that you don't remember banana man then, Gory, because yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was so funny. It just goes. Eric is. Banana man. <laughs> That's just my humor right there. Um, uh, Chris77909, thank you so much for the follow. I have been... Oh, Fraggle Rock. Oh, what do you know? I'm not actually that sick anymore, so I can chuck a couple more of these in. What do you say? Should we give Zell one more? Mm-hmm. Bob, Bob. Fraggle Rock, yes. Down on Fraggle Rock. She got it. She got it real quickly. Did you have the show Cadillac and Dinosaurs? We had dinosaurs. We had dinosaurs, yeah. I had like a weird crush on the the, the teenage son in that show. I don't want to talk about it. Was, <laughs> was Dinosaurs the one where it was like live action with like they were in costumes? I'm the baby! Or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that being remastered or something at the moment oh maybe yeah or coming out on disney or something yeah yeah it's due to be redone i like dinosaurs i didn't like the dad it was like trying to be like the dinosaur simpsons but live action like good on them yeah yeah mm. but they're definitely velociraptors tj thunder says there's chicken palmy shapes and i've not seen them oh did you but say palmy i want them it's Palmy, yeah. not Palmer. I know Tej is uh, Queensland. You're Queenslander. I'm a Queenslander. Great. Mm-hmm. It's Palmy and it's not Palmer. I got in a fight no. with someone in Melbourne who wanted to huh. unfriend me because they were like, it's an, it's a Palmer. And I'm like, no, nah, it's a Palmy. No. It's a Palmy. Oh, it's no. Bogload. Palma. We got a no. Palmy versus Palmer fight already. Let's go. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. God, these are just crack, oh aren't they? They're crack. Mm. They are. Hawk Tender dog. Says, Hi, hawk dog. Like the dinosaur version. Nakara says, I say Palma. Nakara, where are you from, though? Is it Nakara or is it like New York Kara? Or is it like not your Kara? Help me more with the name. But if you're saying Palma, where are you from? Yeah, we're in Australia. Mate, we're in Australia. Did I tell you that when I was flying Virgin back home and I was like just so stoked to be around so many um, Aussies and the flight attendant goes, welcome to Australia. I was like, yeah, I'm home. (laughs) Australia. Yeah. 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 Oh, she's Queensland. I'm assuming she, sorry, because of Cara. If I'm wrong, let me know. I don't like to assume things like that. Sunny Coast is Palmer. But they're saying Palmer. From the sunny yeah. coast, she. Um, uh, we used to have a 
I don't know, shared a holiday house. I went to a holiday house um, in Dickey Beach in the Sunshine Coast. Hello. Dickey Beach has got a shipwreck on it. Your accent gets so thick. It does. <laughs> <laughs> when I start talking about this, I get really, yeah. yeah. They give complimentary – oh, they give completely – do you mean complimentary? Because that would be funny. Complimentary dingoes on flights to Australia. Take your complimentary dingo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't, know, I don't understand. I've eaten all this food and I keep eating my cuticles as well. Is Dickie Beach near Bald Knob? <laughs> it, it actually might be. Stooge McDuck, hello. We are not here to fuck spiders. Well done. Oh, you grew up in Malulaba. Yeah, it's really close to it. Yeah, Dickey Beach. Surely, right? There's Dickey Beach. I'm not making that up. I can't. Dickey Beach. I swear there's a Dickey Beach. Malulaba is great. Go up in his noosa. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, Sunshine Coast is where Steve Irwin's Australian Zoo is. Big yeah, Dickey Beach is a, a coastal suburb in Caloundra. Caloundra. I like Caloundra. It's like Flounder's sister or something, brother. Caloundra. Oh, so great. Majimba Beach is the place to be. Ah, oh, Majimba. Where did I go? I used to go down to Burley, Burley Heads. That was my yeah, beach Billy's spot. Nice. Beautiful. Have a drink at the Pav. Oh, I would. I learnt to surf there. But that little nature walk. Oh, just lovely. So nice. You're closer to Dicky Beach now than I was in Malulaba. Oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> Continuous progress. I love this. Burley. No, no. Burley is spelled. Burley Heads is B. You kind of like Renee. Burley. Yeah. Early heads. Uh, I reckon I'd move on. <laughs> I have to go. I've been talking Australian <laughs> for too long that I'm busting out I reckons. I reckon if I move no, home, I I'd probably go straight back to Burley. <laughs> Burley's just so nice. It's just like a good pace there. Uh, this has you been a lot of pace, fun. Yeah. This has been a lot of fun. Rach, thank you so much for – I dragged you into this just to be like my radio VJ. No. I'm happy to help cure some homesickness any day. Thirteen ten sixty. Uh, call in now. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon. Thirteen ten sixty. <laughs> What's the worst smell you've ever smelled on a plane? First caller, Carol. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah. Look, I was on a plane and <laughs> someone spewed. If I turn on a radio right now, it's probably going to be happening. Let's be honest. Full disclosure: I lasted a year doing that radio. I lasted yeah. one year before I was like, no. "I can't do this." <laughs> Please save me. Mm. Um, but this was a lot of fun. I really appreciate it. Good bag. Yeah. Anytime. Uh, next stream, we may have to do like a little Valentine's Day something. something. Yeah, for sure. Mm, do you or do you not? <laughs> and we might have a little um, YouTube Q&A coming up very soon. Mm, that's the one. Thank you. Stay tuned. Yep, got to do a YouTube one. Actually, maybe we'll do a YouTube for Valentine's Day because it's Sunday, yeah? Yeah, sounds good. Yep. Mm. Just hits the spot, that Pasito. Goon of Fortune. <laughs> good times. Fortune. Oh. Some bogan came on and smelled like they hadn't showered for days. <laughs> How they even oh made to buy a ticket? Thank you, Stooge. <laughs> Stooge, where are you from? Where in Australia are you? I love that we've got Aussies happening in the chat. That's just that's magic. Do they use bogan? Oh, that's right, Nate. It's States? your birthday on Valentine's Day. Then we're gonna have Yay. to do one. Been fun. Cheers, Maud. We all from Brizzy too. I'm a Brizzy gal. Hey. Good times. Good times. That's funny. I hope you didn't go to BBC. My brother may have my. Actually, very close to where you went to high school. You were stayed high. I dated your school captain. Three months tops. Nice guy. He's a he's track and field. <laughs> no one cares. Stuart McDuck, what year did you graduate? Let's piece it all together. I love that you know that I'm a summable um, person. I I actually don't like that at all. I hate that you know that I'm summable. Um. Because I hated, yeah, I hated some of all. I hated my high school. Oh, I hated it. I hated <laughs> it. I hated it. And they're all still friends. They're all still friends with each other. Every now and then, every few years, I'll do a little spiral down um, uh, Facebook and be like, oh, 
Uh, Stooge, that means you know Matt, Matt O'Keen. Because Matt O'Keen graduated O2. And Matt O'Keen is now doing huge things in um, Australia. He was on Triple J, the radio show. And then he went, he's done, he's written his own show. He's doing big things. He went to State High 2002. And we were, we caught the Rabina train home together. And like kind of said hi, but like didn't really know each other super well. And what do you know? We had careers. Oh, you didn't know him personally, but you know, yeah, yeah. He went to your school the year above. That's so funny. <sighs> Man, good times, good times. So hold on. So when I, PC. when you were a senior stooge and you were getting off the train, you were running into year 10 Maud. That's funny. That's nuts. Are you, Stooge, are you still in Brisbane? I'll wait. This will be worth it. Wait. I'm going to give him the best advice of his life. Are you still in Brisbane? Yeah, get out. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Save yourself. <laughs> get out. Get out. <laughs> My whole family's still there. It's lovely. The whole family's still there. Get out. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> at least go to the Gold Coast or something. I mean, South Bank's an artificial beach. <laughs> oh, there was a summer old chick on the train a couple of years ahead of me that I had a crush on. Well, all Aww. right. Uh, that's interesting because, like, we had a snot green coloured uniform that no one could make attractive, so good on her. Good on her. Uh, is it Nikara or Nikara, by the way, as well? I hated Briz. 15 years was enough. Yeah, Briz, so long, stink town. Like, poof. Oh, uh, oh Nikara. Thank you, Nikara. Uh, upside down, uh, ups and downs, sorry. So did you ever read the book, uh, Big Little Lies? It takes place in Australia. I forget where. It takes place in the northern beaches of Sydney, which is Wankerville. Yeah. But that's kind of exactly okay. what the show's about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun times. Fun time. This was good. This was a good hang. Yes. Appreciate you all. Rach, where can people find you? You're trying to, uh, trying to, you are streaming and you're trying to build your audience. So where can people find and follow? I am. I'm um, at Gory Kills on Twitter and here on Twitch. Or head over to geekbomb.net and read my articles. I'll be there writing. Next uh, next stream, I would love to hear from everyone what their favourite article that they read was. Your yes, homework. Please. Yay! All right, legends, join the Discord. We'll see you there. Until next time, Eric is Banana Man. <laughs> oh, wait. I didn't <laughs> transition. <laughs>